Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've got a general question today really, or work with any website. It's We had a question on videos. Um, when you upload videos they're fantastically eye-catching, which is what you want for a website. But they do take up a lot of resources and a lot of time videos are huge file sizes. And somebody was asking us, what do you do about compression? Well, I use a free site, and I'll put the link below the video, called v.io for compressing videos. But a lot of the time, I don't need to compress videos because I get them from sites where they're already pretty small, such as Pexels, for instance, and I'll put this below the video also. Um, when you make your own videos, they're usually huge in size, and so you want to take them down a bit because not only is it a download and upload speed consideration for the internet that slows things down it's it takes up resources on your server or the hosting server for the website which can slow things down too so if you can you want to keep them small but when you compress a video you've got to bear in mind that you are going to lose a bit of quality so let's take the video that i used in the picture down there on the site right here I'm getting this from Pexels and it's pretty small. It's black and white and it's quite eye catching, but it's pretty small. So if I download it, as you can see, it's downloading in my browser. You will download to your download location. Now I've already got this file uploaded to my site. If I go to the site, enable the visual builder. I'm using it for the video background of this section right here. If I go over to it, there it is. It's this one right here. And it's actually only four megabytes. Now for a, a video, that's absolutely tiny. But if you wanted to compress it, you still can, but you're gonna lose a bit of the, personally, I wouldn't compress it if it's that small already. But even if you did compress it, you're gonna lose a bit of the quality. So let's compress this and compare the difference. So just X out of there. Just take a look at that little video for a minute. It's pretty sharp. You see things really well. Now let's go ahead and compress this video and upload a compressed version. Hit the video compress button. Drag your video up. And you can choose how much you want to compress it by. So let's take it down about halfway. So it's just over two megs. Hit the compressed video. As this is a very short video, it won't take any time at all. There we are, it's already done. We'll download that video. Now, it's gonna download it with an untitled name, so you may, might wanna rename it for your own reference later on. I'm not gonna do that today purely for expediency. So let's replace it. Again, take a quick look at that one that's there. It's pretty sharp. You can see what's going on. Let's go back in and replace it with the compressed version. And there's our compressed one right there. As you can see, this is only two megs, so it's half the size of the one before. And as I'm sure you know, with the video background, local video background, just put in the dimensions of the video itself to get it dis displayed correctly. That's actually not too bad. I mean, it's, it's, it's visible, but I can see a few artifacts around the flags, for instance, around some of the cornering there, but that's not too bad. So that's one option. Like I say, I probably wouldn't uh, compress a file of that size. If we go get another one, it'll work better perhaps with a colorful abstract sort of background. Let's put in colorful. Now I want videos. Let's just grab this crazy one right here. 
this one I can see as it's downloading is 32 megabytes so I probably would want to compress this a bit it's colored and there's a lot going on in there so firstly let's put the original one in now I'm working on localhost so it's going to be fairly quick anyway localhost means I'm building this site on my computer there's no web server involved so we'll get rid of that one we'll add our new one okay well there you go that's a pretty sharp picture right there now I think if we was to take this down if we were to take this down in size a bit this would work so we can probably at least half of it half it the size of it so again let's go to our online converter we'll go back to the first page hit the compress video button upload this one this one may take a second or two longer yeah let's get it to down to about 10 megabytes that's actually a third of the size which is not bad so let's compress that and I may pause this video because this may take a minute or two nope didn't even need to pause that was pretty quick download the video again it's got no name you might want to rename it let's go replace it let's firstly just have another quick look at this one it's pretty sharp a lot of colors going on there it's good let's put the new version in and see what we've lost actually by cutting it down to a third okay we've lost a little bit of the clarity there but it's not too bad I mean seeing as we've saved two-thirds of the file size that's not bad and for abstract sort of things like that that's gonna work quite well I don't know what that is a tin of paint or something I don't know that's one that's one way of compressing your videos and that's a great free service there but do bear in mind that it is gonna slow things down for images, I'm not going to go through it, but I use a little little one called Tiny PNG, and I'll put this below the video also. And again, you just drag your images up there, hit the compress, and it'll compress them, download them the same way as we did with the videos. But all I wanted to really make the point was with this today is yes, you have to. It's a good idea to compress things videos and photos even though today's internet speeds are fantastic compared to what they were a few years ago but you're always going to be sacrificing a bit of quality when you do do that and if you're downloading a video that's uh, 1920 by 1080 or something and you're only using it on an area that's 300 wide you either want to download a, a smaller version of it or compress it because it'll look so much better on a smaller area like that and the same with images if you've got an image that's huge 5,000 pixels wide which a lot of these high-def images are and you're using it for a background or just a, a section that's the size of perhaps this module right here cut it down in size so it's only about 400 wide and there's huge savings there like I say internet speeds are so fast now it's not quite such a consideration but if you've got a lot of this stuff going on it does put a strain on your hosting server as well so there you go guys that's all about all I know about compressing videos for web so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesigndetectives.com thanks for watching have a great day.